Fallout 76 is a massive game with a ton of hidden and unique weapons for vault dwellers to discover throughout their journeys in the wasteland. So in today's video, we are going over the long lost cheap scorch weapons from the free range public event. This event is simple enough and fairly easy for players to complete whether you're in a team or all alone. The objective of the event is to escort three stray brahmin back to the homestead in which they ran away from. However, the way back to the farm will be littered with various enemies who will attack the brahmin on sight. If the enemies kill the brahmin, the event is failed. As long as one brahmin survives though, the event can be completed though you may get crappier rewards. Now while most of the enemies through this event can be super duper easy to kill, the final boss is a vicious legendary sheep squatch that can spawn one or if you're lucky two sheep squatches. Upon slaying your sheep squatch or sheep squatches, the event is completed and you are rewarded based on how many brahmins survive. The unique weapon plan rewards that we're wanting from this event is of course the sheep squatch staff, the sheep squatch club, the shepherd's crook, and the sheep squatch shard. Now all these awesome unique weapons besides the shards have a ton of mods to go along with them. Both the Sheep Squatch Staff and the Sheep Squatch Club can get the Barbed Mod, Burning Barbed Mod, Burning Mod, Electrified Mod, Heavy Mod, and the Poisoned Mod. For the Shepherd Staff, you can get the Electrified Mod, Glass Covered Mod, Horned Mod, Spite Mod, and also the Toothed Mod. Now for this segment of the video, we are actually going to be testing out the Sheep Squatch Staff, the Sheep Squatch Club, and the Shepherd's Crook against this level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name of Bill. Now as you can see, Bill is just snoozing away right now. I'm going to get really close to him and then we're going to smack him in the face with a heavy attack. There we go, 953, 1048 straight to Bill's face. Now, can we just get, oh my God, three shots and Bill is no more with the Sheep Squatch staff. Now we made our way back to good old Bill, but this time we have the Sheep Squatch Club and somehow he's already waking up. What the French toast? We're just gonna start by bashing his knee and look at that, 903. And this one's a little bit faster. I do not know how he knows where I'm at. Oh my God, how did I come out and sneaked? Oh, oh Jesus, let me just get back real quick. Cheese and rice, cheese and rice. Let me breathe, let me sneak. There we go, there we go. He cannot find me. Bring it on, Billy! Just like that, Bill is no more. Now, not only are we going to be demolishing Bill with the Shepherd's Crook, we also have the Sheep Squatch Shards to throw at him. So we're going to start off this fight with a couple of these thrown at him. There we go, look at that. 112. And is that poison damage? I think so. We're going to keep throwing them at him. Okay, 251. Not bad. I do not think I'm going to be able to stay sneak while throwing these at him, though. I think he'll be able to figure it out. Yeah, those aren't doing a ton of damage. So just throw maybe a couple of them at someone and then go at him with your weapon. Bring it on, Billy Bob. Is that all you get? You're going to block my shepherd's crook? I do not think so. And just like that... Bill could not withstand the power of any of these weapons. Now let's get into these exact weapons that I'm using and my entire build. Over in the weapons, starting off, we have the Sheep Squatch Staff, and the main legendary effect for this weapon is the Bloodied Effect, which is a damage increases as your health decreases, has a 40% faster swing speed, and it also has a plus one to endurance. And the mods I decided to go with with this bad boy is the Burning Barbed Sheep Squatch Staff mod. Next up, we have the Sheep Squatch Club, and it of course has the Bloodied Effect, the 40% faster swing speed, and it breaks 50% slower. The mods that we use for this one is the Electrified Sheep Squatch Staff mod. And finally, we have the Shepherd's Crook, and just like the other weapons, we have the Bloodied Effect and the 40% faster swing speed, but the third legendary effect is your Vats Critical Meter fills 15% faster. And the mod that we use for this one is the Electrified Shepherd's Crook. Over in all the normal perk cards, I'm making my in-game melee builds that we use for the video. Starting off in Strength, we have 15, and this so we can have Barbarian maxed out. Every point of Strength adds a plus 4 to Damage Resist, max 80, no power armor. We have all these sucker cards maxed out to get the max amount of damage out of this build and if you're using the one arm melee weapons you switch it out for the gladiator cards we have blocker maxed out take 45 percent of less damage from your opponent's melee attacks we have incisor maxed out your melee and unarmed weapons ignore 75 percent of your target's armor we have martial artist maxed out your melee weapons weigh 60 percent less and you can swing them 30 percent faster over in perception we have two and this one can have grenader maxed out your explosives detonate with twice the radius over in endurance we have nine and this one can have kin fiend maxed out any kims you take last one 100% longer. We took overdrives and psycho buffs in this video. We have fireproof maxed out. Take 45% of less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have radical maxed out. The greater the rats, the greater the strength, a max plus 5 to strength. We have rejuvenated maxed out. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. Over in charisma, we have 9 in this so we can have lone wonder maxed out. When adventuring alone, take 20% less damage and gain 30% AP regen. We have field surgeon maxed out. Stimpaks and rataway right will now work much more quickly. We have tenderizer maxed out. Make 
your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in intelligence, we have three, and this one can have Nerd Rage maxed out. Wobble 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% of damage, and 15% AP regen. Over in agility, we have 13, and this one can have Action Boy maxed out. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have Ninja maxed out. Sneak attacks with melee weapons do three times the normal damage. We have Escape Artist maxed out. Sneak to lose enemies and running no longer affects stealth. We have Adrenaline maxed out. Gain a 10% to max 60% of damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have Dodgy add one star. Avoid 10% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in luck, we have 15, and this one can have Bloody Mess maxed out. 15% of bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red pace. We have Better Criticals maxed out. Batch Criticals now do plus 40% of damage. We have Serendipity at 2 stars. Wobble 30% health, gain a 30% chance to avoid damage, no power armor. We have Ricochet at 2 stars, gain a 12% chance to deflect by some of your enemies range damage, no PvP. We have Class Freak maxed out. The negative effects from your mutations are reduced by 75%. And we have Starch Genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from rads and rado will never cure your mutations these are all the normal perk cards that make up my in-game melee build and now let's get to the legendary perk cards over in all the legendary perk cards that we use to make up my in-game melee builds starting off in intelligence we have that at two stars we have endurance maxed out strength at one star luck at two stars hack and slash maxed out and collateral damage at two stars these are all the legendary perk cards now let's get to my armor and my mutations over in the armor what i used is a full set of unyielding gear the reason being is because it says gain up to plus three to all stats except endurance when low health and in this video i used a low health bloody build so this type of armor is absolutely fantastic for us though you can use like chinese stealth armor or anything honestly that will help you stay stealth over the mutations these are all the mutations that i use for the build now i am gonna say that these are not perfect mutations for melee builds but they are the ones that i use for my build we have adrenal reaction bird bones eagle eyes egghead healing factor marsupial skull skin and speed demon if you enjoy fault content like this and you want to see more i also made a video for one of the best heavy gunner builds in all of fault 76 so if you want to check it out i'll link it in the screen right now you see that that is my heavy gunner build video